Hey, Coach, uh, two goals uh, here in the first half that you guys can see that ultimately decided the match. Just what did you see on the build up to each of those goals? And, and you know, what sort of your imp impression of, of how those goals were built on the sideline? Yeah, I think, you know, we're disappointed in the goals that we give away. I think initially we thought it was a foul in the build up to the first goal. Um, I think the second goal, the timing of the second goal really kills the game, really, in the sense of, you know, I think at 1 0 down. Coming out second half, we know we're going to have a lot of the ball. We know we can really get after the game. But, um, yeah, disappointed in the two goals. JR? Hi, Coach. JR DeBart, Blue City Radio. Um, Coach, obviously this marks the end of the, the regular season for MLS. When you look back and reflect on the season, uh, which are the games that uh, you see as kind of swing games in which you either got a result uh, and it was extremely important uh, point-wise or maybe you dropped a couple of points that you, you wish you hadn't? Yeah, I think there's many. You know, when you review the season, we'll do that after the postseason. I think... You know, there's games that we know were really important for us and there's games that we we know we probably should have picked points in. You know, games like Austin away come to mind and, you know, Chicago away and those games where you know you can add, you know, get a solid league position because you're adding points on the road. Um, but there's many, many positives as well. You know, we can't get away from the fact that we're much improved. Our league position is much improved than last year. We clinched with three games to go. We've had some huge games and huge results. Um, and I said to the guys there, you know, we'll figure this one out in the in the week in the in the training facility because we have to, right? It's what we've done all year. We've always reviewed and reflected and evaluated the games, good and bad, and we'll continue to do that. Um, but now it's about showing a reaction. Now it's about reacting to the disappointment of of this game because we know it fell short of our standard, right? After you know some huge results, so. We've done it before. Post League's Cup Cincinnati game, we showed a huge reaction. You know, post Philadelphia home game, we showed a huge reaction. And, you know, we just have to do that again now. Michael? Yeah, Coach. Um, so you mentioned the missing the points on the road. The team has had a real, a real struggle this on the road this year and last year. Uh, tonight seems sort of the same thing. You're going into Cincinnati, a really hard place to play on the road now. How do you correct that? How, what, what are you seeing on the road? What, what are the things you can deal with to sort of you know, correct course, correct in the mid going into the playoffs. Yeah, I think you know, look at many, many games. You know, at the start of the season, we probably weren't um, performing at the level to get results on the road, and then through the season, we're much improved. We've not only improved our away form from last year because it wasn't good enough last year, but you know, the performances as many performances that um, we probably should have tied when we've lost, and we should have won when we tied. So. For us, it's about taking our chances and about not giving away cheap goals. You give away cheap goals on the road, you make the, the, the game really difficult for yourself. But though we created some chances tonight, we didn't take them. I, I say again, I think the second goal killed us just before halftime. Michael Ender. Hey, Nick. Mike Ender from Blue City Radio. Thanks for the time. Uh, do you look at the at, at NYCFC as the underdog, whether it be whoever gets the uh, the first game or a lower seed in the in the uh, lower seed in the in the table? Um, whether we are the underdog or not, we always fancy ourselves. You know, I have huge belief in every guy in that dressing room and, and I know everybody um, believes in each other. I'll say again, we've had some disappointing results this year. That's why we sit where we do in the league, right? The, the most consistent teams sit in one and two. Um, but we've also shown a real positive reaction to the difficult results and that gives me huge confidence that... Um, that we take these moments in the in the in the humble and honest way that you have to to be a good team. And you know, I've said before, tough times make top teams, and we've had many of those. But we've also had some good days, right? We can't forget we beat Red Bull five one at Red Bull. We you know, we've just gone on a you know a three game winning streak. So um, it's disappointing, and I hate losing. This feeling will never ever get normal to me. But you know, um, now we go into a postseason series. The aim was to make the postseason. We're in. And, you know, we take on Cincinnati. Final one, Christian. Hi, Coach. You talked about it there, those positives. How important can they be in sort of building the foundations of attacking this playoffs with intensity? Yeah, I think you have to, you know, listen, we're disappointed that we've lost tonight. We're disappointed that we didn't do enough to win. But we also had, you know, many, many moments in this game that with small improvements, we, we, we know we can win this football game. And 
for us, it's about taking the positives. We've always done that. We've always faced up to the, the areas we need to improve at, whether that's individually or collectively as a team. We've always um, fronted the disappointment. I, I, I say it again, you know, I take responsibility for every result that we get as a football team. And um, I just said to the guys, the one thing we have to do is we return home, we get in the training field, we get in the video room, we make sure we look at why we won the games that we've won and how we can improve this one. And we go take on Cincinnati. You know, we've had some top games against them. Disappointed to lose 1-0 earlier in the season. Played really well for 75 minutes in the League's Cup and then lost it and then beat them, at, you know, in our homestand. So, um, you know, we're confident that we can put performances in and we're, we're pleased we're in postseason. We're motivated now for the end.